Aim assist, invigorate and ruthless blades. I did not know you could get a 3 cost unit uh, as a hero augment at the start. Huh, that is interesting. Do we reroll this? Gain a Lee Sin. When you field him, your team gains 20% attack speed double. Gain a, gain a Draven. When you field him, your team gains 55% your crit chance. Huh, I'm not sure about this. What do we do with the Draven? The Draven is pretty good. I guess I'll take a Draven, but I'm not sure what to do with it. You know? Not exactly sure what to do. Hmm... The reason why I'm not sure what to do is, uh, you know, we have this we have this bonus crit on him or on everybody now, which is nice. But if I'm playing mage, which I'm already playing, I already said I want to try out the buffs Shojin. They buffed the mana to double. It was every third attack, ten additional mana. Now it's twenty since yesterday's patch. So I want to try the buffed Shojin on something like Aurelian Soul. But if I don't get the crit, if I don't get Jeweled Lotus, I guess I just go Jeweled Gauntlet. Jeweled Gauntlet is pretty good, huh? Everyone has 80% crit chance. Jewel Gauntlet is gonna give me 100, basically. Well, 105, but yeah. Oh, that is not looking too hot. Do we just play this? Level up, play this, or what? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. We definitely go Shojin. How much mana does he have? 80? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna equip him anything. I'm gonna equip her, I guess. Because we'll, we'll ditch her anyway. Alright, Shojin, let's try. Let's try it, guys. Trying the LeBlanc once again. I didn't want to try LeBlanc because I... LeBlanc really wants blue buff. Even if the Shojin is buffed, she has a very low amount of mana. So she definitely wants blue buff, man. Super good on her. So And she also gets the kills, so she can reliably proc the new blue buff passive that gives her 10 mana back after she kills somebody. So, yeah, I, I just don't want to... I really want to try the Shojin since the, the opportunity presents itself. I could have played around Ginsu. Uh, I could have put Gunblade on LeBlanc or something and then just go for um, a blue buff on Carousel, but I really wanted this. Gadget Expert. Oh wow, that's a big one. That's big. That is juicy, guys. Let's go. That's really good. I could level here. I think I win without leveling. Let's see. I think the Draven one is good. Extra crit becomes damage at two to one ratio. At two to one ratio now. So like I LW Hodge and you get some extra crit damage. Wait, since when? Are you serious? Is that is that on the newest patch? Monday patch. Holy, that is cool. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. So it overflows into crit into crit damage. That's sick. Uh, anima visage. Don't really want that. I'm second last pick, or I'm last pick actually. Uh, yeah, no one wants the emblem, huh? Isn't that crazy? Okay, now he takes it. Nice, I get the crit. We're chilling. Wait, that's really good then. Hello from Hungary. Have a nice day, guys. Yo, thank you, Mr. Craig. Welcome, man. Thank you for a follow as well. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm kind of down to play this guy. I'm, I'm down to level up now. And just play this. This is an insane team now. This is super insane. Wow. Okay, guys, we're chilling. Look at this. Holy. <laughs> that is a super crazy team now. We just go Ox Force next. Level 6. Hopefully I can win streak with this, man. We haven't had a good early game start in a long time. In like 3 hours. In like, honestly, 3 hours. No cap. Always lost streaking at the start. Makes the game much harder. Of course. Since you're already low. But now we're chilling. Very good, very good. Uh, we can level next turn. If we want to, if we so desire. 
for the win streak. Ooh, Hodge. Insane. So she has 148% crit damage. You give her a Hodge, she has 158. Yep, that is certainly working. Very good. Are we ever leveling here? This guy is pretty strong. Lots of three, uh, two stars. Want to keep the win streak, man. Two people are strong. Want to keep that win streak, even though it's a lot of money committed. Turn the front line any. Oh yeah, the, the leveling was a good choice. Look at this. Without leveling here, I I lose no. Because it's a very small, like it's a very thin thin line, right? Like my guys were so almost dying there. Without leveling there, they might die. We might lack the damage. Wow, no shot. Oh my god. Oh come on, guys, we're chilling. Oh, we're chilling, guys. The Aurelian Soul is here. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, this is really good. Uh, what else do we go on him? Hodge, so he self heals. We can go Hodge. For again, the crit damage. But is it worth to over crit? Like, is it worth? Did, did, some, did people do the math? Or is, a, is something like, I don't know. What could I give him? Rabadons, is that more worth? Or a Giant Slayer, right? The Giant Slayer? He does bypass Frontline, though. He does bypass them. GS right now for win streak. Ah, uh, the thing is, GS is a good late game item, right? Not really that good early game. So it doesn't even matter that much. Like, it's not gonna win streak much more than that. You know, if, 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 if someone would ask, does it go much further than that? You would say no, you know? Shall we? Cheers, my friends. Does it go any further than that? 2% crit becomes 1% crit damage. A Hodge would give him 10. So 10% increased damage, whereas a Giant Slayer is a lot more. Yeah, that's not worth. That's not worth. It's just a nice bonus. It's not something you chase. You don't go for the over, over crit. But if you get it, if it just happens to be so, then you get it, right? So I'm going to go Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer or Rabadons, but the Giant Slayer is already here. Yeah, the thing is, the Giant Slayer is uh, obviously good against tanky units, right? With a lot of health. And this doesn't... The enemies don't have that. Why spending? Why spending? I have no money. I'm broke. High Roller. High Roller is really bad for this. There's a lot of threats. That's going to be hard to hit. It's very hard to hit, yeah. High Roller, Asol 3. Guys, there's Belveth. There's everything. There's no way I, I hit. There's no way I hit. Huh. Why spending? Electro charge is really good. I like why spending. Let's go why spending. Yeah, let's go why spending. Hmm. I'll go giant slayer freaking. I want a streak. Ah, uh, why spending is not combat though. Hmm. Maybe I should have rerolled actually. We probably lose against this guy, unless Aurelian Soul is way stronger than I think. That's a, that's a very good amount. Holy, okay. Wow. Okay, nah, 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 we're chilling. These are some really good crits. Yeah, he didn't expect that. This makes no sense that I win this. I don't get it either, Snorlax. Yo, Snorlax, man. When did you turn purple? Your shiny is dark blue. There's no purple Snorlax, man. What is this? I don't think we... Oh, shit. I mean, honestly, this, this thing is garbage. So I think we ditch these idiots. Yeah. I mean, we just lost Protector, though. It's fine. The, the, the item was garbage, right? The item was garbage for this round, so might as well play a Sijuani. Might as well. 
Yeah, the issue with High Roller, if I had like a lot of gold, if I had a lot of economy right now, you need to be level 8, and then you can use High Roller on Aurelian Soul, and you will get only threats. And you will get, you will get Belveth, Aurelian Soul, and Zac with the same likelihood. Which is pretty bad, but considering you will only get these in your shop. Or, you know, the purple. The purple units will only be these three in the shop. It's still pretty bad, but if you just, if you just, you know, decide, okay, you know what, I'll just play Belveth. And the other thing as well, the Zac. And there's no issue doing that, right? Then, then you suddenly have something going on, maybe. But yeah, I'm going for the Zac here for sure. We need tank items anyway, we're fully equipped on this guy. This is gonna be a Thieves Glove or a... Or a... Shroud. And then uh, we just play him over... Probably Annie, man. Just kick Annie. One star Annie. One star Annie is useless. Wait, why did I sell him? Oh, I'm brain dead. The thing is, it's Ox Force. You just play Ox Force. You just play Ox Force for now. Oh, I'm a little bit brain dead, guys. Ooh. We'll play a triple, triple. We'll play double defender set, set tank. Set will be our tank this game. Set will be the tank. Uh, what's up, Pentazir? Is Shojin good now? Yes, they buffed it. Double the mana region now. From 10 to 20 every three attacks. Which is really good. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. Just fills up 40% of his bar or something. Not really 40, man. More like 20, 20 22 or something. 22.5. Well, we're chilling. Uh, what do we do? Sell her. I think she's better as a one star because she has this parry mechanic. Which I think dodges damage or what? Does it not? She takes less damage. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Probably any was better. But it really doesn't matter that much. I could level here, but I think I'll just slow level. Oh, this is really good. Maybe I'll hit... Uh, if I go level 9, I might hit Aurelian Soul 3. Because I'm going level 9 while rolling, right? I'm not I'm not leveling. I'm rolling with the wise spending. So we might hit. Hopefully. Finally at home and showered. I'm ready to freaking engage. Woo. Nice, Mazin. Welcome, man. <laughs> engage what, though? Ayo. I'm back from dinner. You got room for next game? Yes, yes, you log in. You can be in the next game. Okay, we get this. We get another... Uh, we get another threat. Yeah, we get a Belvet. Probably just run this now. I probably just do this. Because I, I want frontline, no? I want frontline. I don't want backline. I don't want the Draven. Yeah, yeah, Draven, no items. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, we do this. Oh, this is not bad. This, these are some good items, man. Holy. These are some amazing items, guys. We can go for a hoji bodgy as well. Nice. So I'm down for a protectors. Actually, I'm down for this. Huh? Protectors. Yeah. I'm down. Thing is, we want to wait. Oh, I'm going to juice him, actually. The reason why I juice him is, this way I can wait until set... Alright, and we need to roll here. We don't need more uh, Dravens. We'll just feed him anyway. There we go. We pre-level. And that is good. Okay. Are we good? I don't think we need Riven, right? Ooh, I'm gonna get dizzy this game. This augment is very dizzy, diz, diz inducing. Diz inducing. Is it just thrill of the hunt to make him heal a little bit? 
So if he gets attacked, uh, Stan United got hard nerfed, huh? 1.5, 1.5. Holy, it doesn't really matter. It's thrill anyway. I think it's thrill anyway. Defender. That's a lot of jaxes, bro. What if we just play jax? What if we just play jax? He's not banned anymore, remember? He is uh more more in line. More on the on the verge of balance. And he was, so we started unbanning him in our lobbies here. So it might be that. Mm, I'll buy the Zack. Zack instead of Chugat. Only if I win, though. Oh, wow, I'm losing so hard. Oh, Jesus, Curse Crown. Oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm not buying Zack then. It's fine. The curse crown, bro? Holy. The lobby is going to be fast now because he's just going to knock everyone down a notch. Is anybody playing uh, Jax? Because I have, like, I have this Jax crazy. So many Jaxes, man, for no reason. I just go for a full tank Jax. Oh, there he is, though. Nah, you know what? We, we go for him, no? He's tankier. Okay, I am brain dead. Oh, I am so brain dead. Oh, man, I can't even play this set. There's no point. I need to play this guy. Oh, man. Oh, mustard. Mustard. No, of course I can play Sed. Huh? I don't even play Jax. Okay, you know what? Let's just see if we get some Jaxes, man. I'm gonna level up now. After this shared draft. So I'm gonna have to roll fast, man. I need to roll really fast. I'm second pick. Look how, look how everyone is bleeding so much health. Curse Crown, man. Just kills everyone instantly. We were lucky avoiding him up until now. To be honest, we were really lucky avoiding him. But I don't even know what I need. Do I just go for a Hodge? I guess. I guess, man. I mean, I'll see what I'll go for. Can't select this. It's too late. Uh, okay, so the jacks didn't want to happen. So goodbye, you idiot. Um, sell everything here. Put this on him. Put this on him. Okay, I missed one Aurelian soul. I noticed. I noticed. Unfortunate. Messed up a little bit. Uh, you know what? We go Hodge. We go Hodge on the on the on the Urgot. On the Ur God. She's kind of good, isn't she? Alright, we just keep rolling here. Oh, this is great. Can we get a better defender or something? Oh, we don't even need her. Yeah, true. Ooh, this is not good, guys. Um, we go Hodge on Urgot. He casts faster. Uh, nothing else. Uh, do we play this girl? What is the weather? The weather is windy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. That's really good weather. Probably got nerfed, no? Did it get nerfed? It didn't. No, it did. It did. It was 15. It was 15.25. Okay. 
15. We're still getting 12, though. We're still getting 12 damage every 5 seconds. Wasn't it every 4? No, maybe it was 5. It's still really good. Is it combat start as well? Increasing every 5 seconds. Okay. I'm done with this. Alright, so basically, we're chilling like this. There's no way this is my board, man. Is this my board? It's doing surprisingly well, isn't it, guys? Isn't it just doing surprisingly well? We have... Bra we don't have a brawler, right? We can kick the Sejuani, yeah. I'm kicking Sejuani. I don't even want Sejuani. I, I don't have any items for her, and yeah. He's my main tank. Um, I'm gonna play Jenna, I think. Oh, Duplicator. Uh, am I gonna play Jenna, guys? Uh, we don't have Sunfire yet, but I can't pick two. <laughs> I cannot pick two. I go Last Whisper on him. Not even that good. I think we'll just go for another Protector. Uh, what, what, what is it called? Ch uh, Gargoyles? Gargoyles thingy. Oh. Uh, bow on nobody for now. I mean, can't go on Urgoth. Is it gonna always go on Urgoth? Not really. Only if it's Last Whisper. Alright, so we just hit 2-star Aurelian Soul. He should be really good. He should be really good, in theory. And especially with the guaranteed crits. Yeah, he's doing great. Giant Slayer as well. Nah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with this Aurelian Soul. Thing is, I feel awkward playing no, like, threats. I feel like threats is something you put in as a, you know, ah, I guess I don't have anything else. I guess I'll just put a threat. I feel a little bit awkward playing the threats, but it seems to be working. Uh, we could ditch this, to be honest. This Jenna. This Jenna won't do that much, and it makes my positioning very awkward, doesn't it? Does it, though? I mean, I kind of want to middle them. I don't want to middle them. Let's see. Let's see if this positioning is fine. Oh, the Curse Crown guy died once or lost once, so somebody else is really strong as well. Did I beat him? Did I just play as Curse Crown? No way, right? I, I was really too focused, too immersed on my own team comp. I was just thinking, was I playing against them? No, right? Yo, Mazin, thank you so much for the four gifted subs. Much appreciated, man. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. That is absolutely crazy. I assume you want to play. Yeah, you were. Oh, I played against you, you know. Okay. Oh, right, that's crazy. Then I'm really strong. Uh, guys, I am very surprised by this Aurelian Soul. I cannot stress it enough because I know he's a four cost carry. I get that. He should be strong. But he doesn't have traits. Which again, I get it. He doesn't have to have trades. He doesn't have to have trades, right? He's, a, he's the threat. That's the whole point of them. But it, it still surprises me. Because if you think about it, like if you have a MF with full anima squad and stuff, you expect her to be good. And yeah, okay, she's kind of a little bit underpowered right now, but they'll make her good, right? And she should be good. But this guy, you can just build anything and then just put him in. Oh, that's really good. I did not think that. I'm going to sell the Mordekaiser, I don't think. We'll ever play him. I'm just rolling here for two-star Fiddle and Urgot. Because I'm sitting on two duplicates. Even though it's kind of unlikely. I mean, I, I, I really think it's just a ZZ Rot, man. If I get that. I'm last pick, though. I do. <laughs> he was thinking about that. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have said which item I want. He probably didn't take it because he doesn't want to take the item that I have. After I say it, you know. After I proclaim it. Because it, then, it, then it seems a little bit sus. It seems like he's taking it just to take it away, you know. That's why probably. So I, I have to not talk about it. Uh, it's fine. Like, I, I feel like it's worth there. Try to roll. 
I, I feel I, I just feel like it's worth. I could duplicate one of them. But I feel like I want to save the duplicator. I shouldn't have. I should have duplicated Urgot. Absolutely. Should have absolutely duplicated Urgot. Guys, this just opens up so many ways to play. I am mind blown by how good this Aurelian Soul is, guys. And it, it makes the game so much more fun. Because you know me, man. I was sending it to Fast 9 a lot. I, I love the Fast 9 gameplay. And you saw how I was always just playing that legendary suit. But now you actually have the option to go at 8 and still play a bunch of threats and do really well. Which is which is really crazy in my opinion. Alright, there's no way I'm I'm rolling now. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna save the money. Honestly though. Especially against this guy. I'm leveling, no? Leona is not even good. Yeah, Leona is not even needed. I'm playing two Urgots for the double money print. He has a lot of units, he has Cursed Crown. Oh, I'm playing against a Ghost, which is good, I think. This is really good. I get double Cursed Crown, uh, double... Like, he has so many units on the board, and I just get this. Like, look at this. I get so much treasure. Oh my, three treasure. Huge. Huge, man. Gigantic, guys. Gigantic. And again, more treasure? No, that's fine. We won against Curse Crown. Wow, I, I, guys, I, I cannot... I cannot stress how mind blow I am, how mind blown I am by this Aurelian Soul doing so much heavy lifting. Again, I get it's a 4 cost 2 star and they are supposed to be supreme carries. But come on, guys, man. This guy is not even supreme. He's Gucci. You know what I mean? He has that Louis Vuitton drip. He has everything. Supreme, man. <laughs> supreme. He's not gonna bother with these... With these lowly... Streetwear brands. He's going all out. Oh, man. If, the, if his sweater is below 2k, he's not, he's not touching it with a stick, my guys. He's crazy, bro. You can max set, let's go. I'm praying, man. I'm praying, but I'm pretty sure some people... Is he playing a set? He's playing some mech. He's playing one set. And yeah, he's buying the sets. But he needs them, right? He needs them. Oh, frick. A death Blade on Urgot. No cap. Death Blade Urgot. I think that's gonna be crazy strong. Oh, nice. Two star hit. Dragon's Big. A big upgrades, guys. Let's go, baby. We're both on a win streak now. But I beat his ghost. I beat his ghost. A big, guys, big. He has a huge girl, though. He has a huge girl. She hard counters my set. She just one taps him. Oh my, these waves. Oh, nice. We didn't have heal reduction, right? But I kill his rest of the team. Yeah, super strong. Oh, nice. Super close fight. He only has one life left. 52, 22, yeah. One life left. One life left. Oh, set? Set, though? We need one more set. Yo, listen. Listen, sell your set. Oh, he sold his set on bench. What a chad. No, I'm not hitting Sam. Uh, do we grief one round? <laughs> I need one more set. Yo, I grief one round. Sell the set. We want to see it. Come on, please. You don't need the set, right? Where's your set? He sold one on the bench. He's a Chad. You know, you're a giga Chad. Holy. Holy Chad. Look how hard you lose without freaking Urgot, man. Urgot is so good. I love Urgot, guys. Urgot is so good, man. You take him out, you lose the game. I'm telling you guys. Oh, man, what a cool guy. Carousel, I'm gonna grief one more. I'm gonna grief one more until Carousel, but I wanna put the Urgot in so he prints money. He prints money. Uh, let's, move, let's move to his side so we can print money. No cap. 
no cap. We move to his side, we print money. The thing is, he can still win, but I'm, I'm down with him winning. If he wins, but I hit set three, I'm, I'm happy. I died happy, you know? I, I lost happy. I didn't die, man. I'm not dying, okay? I hope I'm not dying. <laughs> like, I'm, I hope I'm not uh, you know, dying in real life, guys. I'm talking about uh, lo losing, okay? But yeah, if he gets two-star fiddle and stuff, it's gonna be really strong. I, I, there's no way I win without... Uh, there's no way I win. It looks like a win. You know what? It's Urgot. How did he how did he lose so hard? Yo, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> I lost without my I lost without my Gucci Louis Vuitton carry. Holy I sold my two-star Urgot. Why? <gasps> Why would you sell it? To hit something else, I guess? And my sets, no, 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 I wasn't going for Urgot, just sell the sets. But anyway, guys, anyway, man, we did it. We beat Curse Crown. I think he low rolled, to be honest, with Curse Crown. Like, he didn't get two star Fiddle, he didn't get two star Aphelios. That is just unfortunate. But still, very surprising how strong this Aurelian Soul is. I'll definitely play him more from now on. He's not even in the finishing photo here because I put him on the bench. Poor guy, man. Subscribe, ring notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.